Exodus 15 verse 25, NKJV. So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. A little backstory is needed here. Three days earlier, God had delivered the Israelites out of the hands of the Egyptians by parting the Red Sea, which they crossed on dry land, Exodus 14 verse 22. Miraculous. At this point, they had been wandering in the wilderness of Shur and hadn't found any water until they reached a place called Mara. Unfortunately, Mara means bitter waters, and that's exactly what they found. The Israelites began to complain and fear for their lives for lack of water. There was nothing they could do in the natural at this point, and they needed water. Without water, they would die. They needed a savior. Moses did what he always did when the people grumbled, he turned to the Lord for an answer. God told him to throw a specific tree into the water, and when he did, the water became sweet. In essence, the tree healed the water so they could drink it. Their situation was a prophetic picture of things to come. The tree that was cast into the water was symbolic of the cross, and the water, the nations of the world, which includes you. Before you were born again, you were dying and in need of a savior, just like the Israelites. And just as the tree was to the water, so the cross is to you. The tree healed the water, and the cross healed you. Make this truth a reality today by envisioning this scene in your mind. See the murky waters of Mara and imagine the foul stench of it. See Moses pulling up a tree and throwing it into the water. See it becoming crystal clear before your eyes as the muck disappears, and breathe in the sweet smell of it. This is exactly what happened to you when you were born again. The moment you believed and the cross touched your life, everything that was bitter was made sweet. Everything that was sick was made well. You are healed. Believe it.